I bought this cottage as a refurb project because it was practically unlivable in. I wanted it to be an eco project so I decided on a biomass boiler and there was no space inside so I decided on the outdoor boiler because it seemed ideal. In addition I've got solar thermal panels so I put in a radiator system and uh, installed the biomass boiler and so it keeps the house really warm. It's hand filled but you get really used to doing that. I fill up the hopper, depends on the temperature outside, so in this very cold weather I've been filling it up twice a week, but not completely filling up, you just top it up twice a week. Um, otherwise in kind of milder weather you'd do it once a week really. I buy the wood pellets um, online, uh, they're really easy to buy, you can just put in an online payment and they'll do, um, I think you can pay extra for a next day delivery or they, they're delivered in two days and there's lots of companies around now who, who do that and it's quite a competitive market. I clean the boiler out once a week just so it's a habit because otherwise I forget. I just make sure that I don't turn it on that morning because it has to be cold and then you just sweep it out. I just keep a brush and sweep out the chamber and empty it into a metal dustbin. It takes maybe 10 minutes, good for an hour to do. You switch it on in the same way that you would have a gas boiler on. And the most efficient way of doing that is to have it on a timed basis. So you might have it on two hours in the morning and four hours in the evening or something like that. Um, it's cheaper than oil, cheaper than LPG. But I guess the thing that makes it attractive is the government grants that um, you can get to fit these boilers, which should cover the cost of fitting them.